Hello, YouTubers and brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Lucy. I want to share with you a dream that the Lord gave me in 1998. Um, this dream came about over the course of two to three days. And where one dream ended, the second part of the dream picked up and then so forth to the third night. Um, I was a young mom at that time raising a baby. And so I wasn't on the internet or, you know, reading about these stories at all. So this is a really startling to me at that time about this dream that the Lord gave me. So here it goes. Um, it was 1988, and I, I was running in the streets, the alleys, the neighborhoods, and I was screaming, the Russians are coming, the Russians are coming. The sky was dark, and it was nighttime. The air was thick and still of darkness. People in the streets were ignoring me, and they were going about their business. I looked at the people in their eyes, you know, I looked at their eyes, and I saw that they were full of darkness inside and gloominess, hollow almost, almost maybe even soulless, but it made me sad that it just seemed so much apathy. And that's why I say soulless, not that I know everyone has a soul, but they just seemed so dead inside. So the people were buying and selling merchandise in the street, walking, talking to one another. A few of them looked at me very curious. Others continued on their way. But I continue with my warning and my shouting. The Russians are coming. I then pointed in the back, to the back, where I saw mountains behind, behind me. And I saw men descending down the mountains. It was a big army, and they were running on foot with weapons in their hands. They had green uniforms on with red socks. It looked like the socks were like blood to their knees. I told the people, look, they are here. But they ignored me, and they continued with what they were doing. Just then, this mighty army was all around the city, in the streets, and in the neighborhoods. The soldiers brutally slashed people's throats. They were shot dead, and they were killed violently. Blood ran in the streets, and people screamed in terror to get away from this army of men. It was too late. The people were attacked by the soldiers. They didn't know what hit them. I continued shouting and warning the people. I then heard someone shout, Look at San Francisco and what is happening. I looked up and I saw a map of California. I saw San Francisco on the map. While looking at the map, my spirit sensed something was very evil that was coming out of San Francisco. But I saw the map and I knew that San Francisco was going through a calamity. And it appeared as though a ball of fire had exploded just and it rocked San Francisco. Um, there and after, it, it felt like some time had passed after I saw San Francisco um, rocked by an explosion or a bomb of some sort. And I don't know if the time that elapsed was a few hours or days, but my dream continued, and I saw that there was people who remained and survived the slaughter of the Russian army. And I don't know why, but I just... It was imparted in my spirit when I saw the military attacking that it was a Russian army. Um, so some time had, had passed by and I was could continued walking in the street, but this time I wasn't shouting and I wasn't warning. Um, I was very cautious who I spoke to and I saw an older lady and she was hanging clothes to dry. And what caught my attention when she did that is that I realized that there wasn't any power or utilities in the street or the neighborhood. It was almost like people were living in the dark ages without electricity and they couldn't, you know, put their clothes in the dryer. I mean, people were hanging their clothes out to dry and um, the city was ruined. It was just kind of laid flat. All the cities were laid flat and people were living in this rubble. So when I saw the old lady, the older lady hanging clothes to dry, I we engaged in the conversation. And a little while later, some military men just popped up out of nowhere. And the same lady then pointed to me and she said, yes, that's her. And the military men then got a hold of me, the soldiers. They beat me up very badly. They kicked me hard all over my body and in my head. Um, but I don't remember feeling any pain in the dream. So... I realized at some point of the dream, I wasn't no, I was no longer in the dream like I was up to this point, but I was outside of the dream, looking down at what was occurring to me as an observer. I was viewing myself. 
So I saw myself and I was naked. I was badly beaten by the mil Russian military. I couldn't speak anymore. And um, they pretty much tortured me. So the soldiers then, the military soldiers, the Russians brought my brother to me and they pointed down to me. And um, my brother looked at me with a very sad face and I wanted to speak, but no words would come out of my mouth. And my spirit inside of me tried to speak as well. And what I was telling myself in my spirit was I was trying to tell him, don't give up. Don't give up. Hang in there. And um, then, and again, this is in 1998, a big screen came up out of the earth. It was like a, um, a big television screen. And it... It, I mean, it, it was like a giant TV screen. Um, and then the um, Russian military, they pointed to this screen and they showed it to my brother and um, they told him that they knew everything about him, everything. And then I woke up and the dream ended. So the Lord gave me this verse, um, Jeremiah fifty twenty four. I set a trap for you, O Babylon, and you were caught before you knew it. You were found and captured because you opposed the Lord. Well, what I really do feel, what the Lord has shown me through this dream back in 1998 is that um, America is going to be invaded. We're going to be invaded by a foreign army. And I do believe, just as he showed me in this dream, that it is the Russians and um they may, they're going to come as a surprise to many who are unaware. There's warnings that are going out now about a surprise attack in the U.S. that people are having visions and dreams. And I only found that out many years later because I didn't hear of anything about this, um, you know, long ago when I had this dream. But I do believe that, you know, this can very well happen. And I think this is a warning, a warning to us um, to stay close to the Lord, pray, we don't know, um, church, we don't know if we're going to see some things before the rapture. We may very well see the United States fall by the Russian military, and then we are raptured. Um, you know, we might see some very bad things happen, um, or we might just escape all of this. I don't know how everything is going to play out, but what we can do is to stay close to the Lord, pray every day, repent of your sins, worship him. And tell others, share the good news of the gospel. All right, folks, um, that's all. Hope this blesses you. Um, please discern, take it to the Lord, and keep looking up. Our redemption draweth nigh. God bless.